Hey everyone, it's that time of year again where I have picked up the latest MacBook. This one is the M3 Pro. Gonna test out League of Legends running OBS software. So I was in a rush to kind of get this video out but played an ARAM game. Um, so it's gonna be covering both hardware and software and I attempted to record in 1080p and 720p. Obviously depending on what you want to stream as um, if you are streaming League of Legends on your MacBook. So yeah, just looking at the settings, I this is the first time launching it, so I just put everything at very high and um, running it off the 720p recording on software, you actually get dips in ARAM down to 100 FPS and I also had my iPhone recording um, 60 FPS, so it actually looked bad on the timeline of Final Cut because it's only a 30 FPS recording trying to run on a 60 FPS timeline, but you can see here using the iPhone um, still with OBS recording, you're getting around 90 frames per second in team fights. So something I pointed about about Mac gaming, if you guys are interested, um, look, something with the mouse uh, compared to Windows laptop, even, you know, Dota, League of Legends, I've compared and played these since M1 Max to the M2 to the M3, is that this device just either has hardware acceleration or, or mouse acceleration or some kind of like just weird mouse settings that on Windows, it's easier to perform, in my opinion. So here I'm changing the um, OBS settings to now run on uh, software, where previously it was running on hardware, and you, you get about the same FPS performance. And this is on simple, so there are other settings you could do, um, but just something to keep in mind. So finally, I noticed that it wasn't running at 60 FPS and running at uh, 1080p, so you could change those settings, which does impact the hardware encoder uh, as these things share a GPU. So keep that in mind when you're reviewing or thinking about this. Not everyone is going to be recording uh, their screen and playing video games at the same time. Um, but, you know, some people do want to record clips of some games. So uh, maybe I was expecting that the M3 Pro with maybe the two gigabytes added as the GPU caching, I assume that's why it's an 18 gigabyte config is that those two gigabytes are used for the GPU. Um, doesn't seem to be working too well. Um, you know, comparatively, I would expect 120 frames per second or whatever frames per second on a Windows device. But it is definitely capable if you're able to figure out the mouse acceleration or you get used to, you know, certain device. I'm just talking about like muscle memory of mouse on Windows is why I prefer gaming on Windows. But as a lightweight device, if you're taking this, you know, on the airplane, uh, you know, compared to what the device I have now that I've shown in the background of some videos or this particular video is the Legion, which weighs six pounds. This way weigh, weighs half that. I also have the Zephyrus G15, which is, you know, about the same weight as this. It has a 3070. Just something as commentary as you can see, even the FPS drops here to 70, 80. Um, but this is running on the native resolution. Some people might not do that as well. They might run on what um, half resolution uh, like the full retina compared to the 50%. I don't know. Some people actually don't really notice that when they're choosing the window scaling options. Finally, towards the end here, I actually turn off OBS and change my iPhone recording to kind of get you an insight into what the frames per second are. Just running this on the full resolution of the 14 inch, you're still getting 90 FPS. Um, Perhaps this is an isolated test. Some people will kind of compare this to the MacBook, or this could actually be that the M3 Pro, actually, uh, like with the reduced bandwidth and some of that nature, has reduced performance in gaming. Perhaps something to consider. This is just one test. I believe I tested the M2 Pro last year, and I, I, I believe, I mean, we could, I'll leave a link below in the comments of that video to compare what my analysis was there, or just like a quick run through gameplay videos um yeah just something to consider there there is an option to actually do metal testing i didn't want to play another aram game so i just loaded up the practice lobby which is surprisingly um i believe tests the hardware just as much we could see here running it with obs recording um, I later test on hardware, you do get that boost. Now, obviously this isn't ARAM and there aren't people in it, so there might not be as many graphics, but you do get the software OBS recording at 120 FPS that everything's set to very high. And I have, of course, capped it to 120 because that's the monitor rate. Um, so yeah, I would expect if running Summoner's Rift, 
not too much action going on you'll get steady 100 fps but probably with other gameplay settings you would get um, lower now here we shifted to hardware i do believe that it actually the the rendering quality kind of looks better in hardware in my opinion so something to consider if you also use this device for recording or streaming for other stuff it seems like the hardware recording is better but overall these are my thoughts on the macbook with the m3 pro you know something if you look at the geekbench scores compared to let's say a windows macbook is this one particularly goes around the i9 30, like 3700 score of around like 15k which is pretty comparable to the windows machine um you're gonna get reduced gaming performance at least here we're seeing in league of legends but i'm gonna be testing out a uh, game port toolkit and we'll see how other games do on it i might even retest league of legends on that so we'll see you guys in the next video peace